Hello, in this video we'll talk about Chediac Higashi syndrome, which is a rare inherited complex immune disorder. It usually occurs in childhood and characterized by reduced pigment in skin and it is very comparable to albinism. So in this child you can see there is oculocutaneous albinisms especially near the eyes and it is associated with immunodeficiency and increased susceptibility to bacterial infection. And in a moment we would understand what is the reason behind it. And there is also an increased tendency to acquire bruise or bleeding. And in this video, it would be totally understandable why these manifestations are there. First of all, this particular disease is an autosomal recessive disorder. Next, the major molecule which is dysregulated is a gene known as LIST or lysosomal trafficking regulator gene which is mutated. Now this lysosomal trafficking gene which is situated in 1Q42Q43 region, this gives rise to a specific regulator protein that helps to take specific substances inside the lysosome. So in nutshell, this particular gene product help in lysosomal trafficking. So when this gene is mutated, this product is not made and overall lysosomal trafficking is disrupted and this leads to decreased phagocytosis. Now decrease in phagocytosis could have multiple implications. It could lead to albinism, peripheral neuropathy, recurrent biogenic infection and many of these things. So let us try to understand the reason behind all of these aspects. Lysosomes mediate degradation of extracellular particles such as a bacteria or let's say a virus by forming endolysosomes. It can also recycle senile or, uh, organelles. So now we try to understand how these processes could be affected in Chediac Higashi syndrome. In normal situation, let's say a bacteria entered our body and it would be engulfed by a particular cell type. And then it would fuse with lysosome to form phagolysosome. Eventually, the content of the lysosome, the harsh lysosomal enzymes would actually degrade these bacteria. And that's how this threat is eliminated. But in Chediac Higashi syndrome, due to a defective, uh, defective list gene product, the trafficking of substances in the lysosome is defective. And one of the implication is the lysosome cannot uh, fuse with the endosome and the phagolysosome cannot be formed. Now that is why bacteriolysis could not occur and this affects several cell types, especially the phagocytotic cells of the immune system such as dendritic cell and the macrophages. Whenever bacteria or virus invaded our body, macrophage and the dendritic cell try to engulf that pathogen with, by the process of phagocytosis. And inside the phagosome, lysosome actually fuse with these uh, endosomes and ultimately creates phagolysosome where the bacteria are dead by the harsh lysosomal enzyme. So bacteriolysis can take place. But in Chediac Higashi syndrome, due to this uh, faulty list gene product, this uh, fusion of lysosome and the endosome does not take place. As a result, there is no bacteriolysis and body is more and more susceptible to bacterial infection. Another cell type which is highly affected due to this mutation is the cytotoxic C, uh, T cells. Cytotoxic T cells can secrete specific uh, granules which are known as perforin and granzymes. This can actually demolish the cells which are infected by virus especially that induce apoptotic pathway. So ultimately the cell dies. And that is how cytotoxic T cell work. But in this list gene mutant, these granules cannot actually be secreted properly. And as a result, 
body is more susceptible to viral infection as well. In Chediac Hagasi syndrome, one of the important thing that we see uh, frequent bruising on the skin and sometimes even bleeding because the platelets are also affected in these in this uh, genetic situation where list gene is mutated. That is why we see frequent bruising and sometimes even bleeding which is a uh, kind of severe. Now another implication of Chediac Hagasi syndrome is neuropathy or progressive neurodegeneration where the neurons are severely affected because neurons also need lysosomal function for their uh, normal physiology and in Chediac Higasi syndrome that doesn't happen that is why the risk of neuropathy or progressive neurodegeneration is increased but have you ever wondered why these children's are kind of like albino why why they have albino like uh, uh, syndromes because lysosomes are also crucial for melanin secreting melanocytes in the screen in the skin now once these gene list gene is actually mutated the melanocytes can no longer secrete melanin in the skin so melanin is the pigment that helps our skin coloring that is why these patients who are affected by chediac hegasi syndrome are often albinos and this is very visible in the uh, subocular area now let us try to understand what is the distinguishing feature or histological feature of chediac higasi syndrome so in chediac higasi syndrome we can see giant granules in uh, granulocytes as shown here in this particular image and these are kind of like uh, granules which cannot fuse together now there is no specific treatment for Chediac Higasi syndrome so far but it has been seen that if detected early bone marrow transplant can give good result in some patients. Also secondary infections like bacterial or viral infections can be treated with specific um, antibiotic cocktails or antivirals. Sometimes since these patients are highly highly susceptible to uh, Staphylococcus aureus, the abscess can be sometimes surgically drained out or removed. These are some secondary treatment options that are available. So in this video, what we learned so far is the pathophysiology of Chediac Higasi syndrome. We learned the immunological basis of Chediac Higasi syndrome. And lastly, we looked at the diagnosis and the possible treatment option of Chediac Higasi syndrome. So I hope this video was comprehensive enough to give you all the necessary information. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook or even in Twitter. My profile ID is provided here. And please, you can support my channel in Patreon. And your support means a lot for me. And it would help me to create more such contents for you guys only. So do let me know in the comment if you have any suggestions. Thank you. Thanks for listening.